Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to Weekly Astrology. There is a love revolution going on this week. It's super important and super magical and super amazing. However, you know, there could be a little bit of turbulence towards the end of the week, but it's exciting times. Here's your Weekly Astrology. Hey gorgeous Sagittarius, this week freedom takes on a new form. You know what you're like, you like to be totally free and wild and explore and you don't like to be pinned down. But actually you're discovering that when you create security for yourself that you choose, you come into your power and it actually gives you more freedom. So you're changing your perception of what it is to be free. And we have an amazing Venus um, opposing your ruler, Jupiter, and it's like, wow you have this opportunity to be really enthusiastic about committing yourself to something and you're loving it. And you also have the opportunity to truly come in your power and also mix with very powerful people this week. If you want to reach out to somebody powerful, this is the week to do it. If you want to step into your power and show the world your, your power, this is the week to do it. It's a beautiful thing because Venus is involved. So you feel great about yourself this week. Good. Mercury is also trying Uranus, the unpredictable. Expect some news around your career that you weren't expecting, but it's good news. It may require, perhaps it requires commitment, perhaps it requires for you to subtly change a pattern in your life, to fully reap the benefits of what's coming towards you. But whatever it is, yes, you're going to love it. So it's potentially very, very good. We then have Venus, the planet of love, trining Neptune. I love that. It's an extraordinary trying that makes us feel unconditional love for other people and the danger is we can get lost in illusion and actually for you um it's around your family but it also could be around someone that you have a kind of you know that crazy chemical attraction to that intense obsession with um and you you know you might have a peak emotional experience with that person but again be careful of illusions don't lose yourself in something that is not real uh, Mercury is also trying Jupiter, your ruler. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. And that's in your career zone and also your security zone. So you're like, mm, I am going to commit because look at all these fabulous rewards. And, you know, you may have been in limbo for a while. It, go, go, go this week. And things are opening up for you and you're, you're feeling expansive. And because Jupiter, your ruler, is retrograde, it's slightly different. It may be connected to the past. It may be something you've thought about or before maybe something you attempted to do before and now it becomes possible but you have to be grounded and actually when Jupiter's retrograde for you it's a grounded time anyway we also have this clash between Venus and Pluto so there, there could be a power struggle there could be somebody trying to manipulate you please don't manipulate anyone else towards the end of the week around the 30th because that would not work out well for you um Keep everything clear and full of integrity and full of love. You're going to know how to handle it when the time comes. Let's see. What's going on here? Okay. Let's see what the tarot has to say, my darling Sagittarius. I'm going to pull through three cards. If you want a one-to-one -one with me, click the Facebook link below and uh, join. And I'm doing Facebook Lives where I, if I'm drawn to you, I'll pull a card. Yes, fabulous. Come and join me there. Um, okay, let's have a look. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. You may be struggling with yourself at the moment, but really sometimes if you've got too much energy, you sometimes turn it in uh, to an argument with yourself or, or, or you're indecisive. So, you know, I, I believe that this twist of fate that's coming, this sort of meant to be event that's being delivered to you um, via Jupiter is, is gonna change things. And guess where it's leading you? It's leading you to the Ace of Wands, to success to being in your power, to having your life force turned up, to being having the magic wand to create your reality. All good, baby. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hi, gorgeous. Before you go, check out my new film on my fabulous psychics. A lot of people ask me for readings. I don't do them anymore, but... For over 20 years, I've had an award-winning team of psychics that I truly hand-pick. So check out the film, let me know what you think. The purpose of a reading, I feel, is very much to inspire people and to empower people. It's about hope. It's about guidance. Using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because 
the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. And it is a bit like a three-way conversation. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else, it's, it's, it's part of who I am, it's what I came here for obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.